Chris Martin here with Creative Domain, and today's quick tip tutorial is using proxy objects in RealFlow. So I've got this animation with the boat coming down a real wave, it's, uh, kicking up a couple splashes. And what I'm trying to do here today is show you how you would use uh, a proxy object to replace your high poly version uh, of your model. So I've got the boat over here, which is the high the high res version, and I've got a uh, a low res version that I'm going to use as my proxy object. So I'm just going to turn off the high res, move this back a little bit. I'm going to go into a left view, and what I want to do is I just want to animate this. Starting right here, we will go up 40, move it forward a little bit, keyframe that, move it to 80, move it up a little bit, keyframe that. All right, so I'm just going to continue doing this and get this all keyframed for you. And as soon as I'm done, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and we've uh, got it keyframed here from 0 to 200. Gave it a little rotation, and uh, I think we're about ready to go. So let's go to Plugins, Next Limit, Export. We've got our boat low selected. Give it an output path and save the SD file. Let's go into real flow. Give it a path here. And create the file. Let's go ahead and import our SD file. Okay, there we go. So we've got our animation in here. We want to put in a real wave. Make that a little longer and a little wider. All right, that looks fine. I'm going to right click the real wave, add a fractal, and I'm also going to uh, put some gravity in here. And I'll add a real splash. And I'll take the max particles up to 300,000, which it won't use nearly that many. Let's see how far we're going. Are we going to the end? That'll work. Okay. For the real splash, I want to tell it the, uh, the type is going to be dumb particles, and the object is going to be the boat low. Let's just save that. All right, and the real wave is set up. Let's go ahead and simulate and see what we've got. So we can see the particles starting to be generated here. I'll tell you one thing we need to do. We need to put a kill volume and fit that to the scene. And then we want to bring that up so that it's killing these particles that are being generated directly under the wave, the real wave. So we'll pull it up to about there. That'll work. Okay, so let's simulate that again. I'm just kind of show you what we've got here. Boat comes cruising down the real wave, kicks up some particles, and that's about it. So now let's take this back over to Cinema 4D. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Boat Low 2, which is the proxy object that we had here. And I'm going to say Alt-G, put that under a null. I'm going to call the null Boat Low which is the name that I had over here. 
Then I'm going to take the boat high, which is the high proxy object, and I'm going to drop it underneath here. I'm going to rename the low, which is the original, to B, and rename this one to low 2. So now I have this one, which is a high res, high proxy, or the high res, and I'm going to replace the animation here. So now when I take the import, the SD import, and I load that file, the animation file, it's applied to the high proxy or the or the high res object here. So now you can see the animation from RealFlow comes in and it's applied to this object. So if you had a you know, if you had an object that had, you know, like I said, 250,000 polygons in it, you wouldn't have been able to take it over here and run it through a simulation that easily. I mean, we did this just in a, you know, a matter of minutes. So now let's go ahead and drop in our other elements. We'll go to our surface loader. And we'll drop in our real wave. And if you want to, you can go ahead and you can render out your, I'm not going to do it here in this tutorial, but you can go ahead and render out your um, your splashes here. And you'd need to go into, uh, you know, add a mesh in here and then insert your fluids and insert the uh, real splash. Click OK. Come over here and make your adjustments as far as your polygon size, which... 0.03 is typically pretty good. Your filters, yes. 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And then you could come in here and you could uh, actually go back to zero and, and click on here, build meshes. Then you would come in here, say next limit, mesh loader, and then navigate to your meshes folder. And then you could put your, um, you could put your splashes in there as well. But I think you kind of get the idea what I'm trying to do here, um, which is to replace the uh, the high res version with a proxy object and use that in RealFlow. So something really important to know. Uh, it'll help you along the way when you're doing uh, your projects or you have a client that you're designing something that's real high res. This is definitely the only way to go sometimes. Anyway, that is the quick tip tutorial for today. I hope that helps.